This is a brand new power supply from Rig Expert called a Shack Master 600. This is a replacement for their last power supply, their last Shack Master power supply. And uh, we're going to go through the features today and put it, uh, I'm going to fire up the 705 next to it and see if it causes any RFI. So let's go. This is the Gigaparts website. Special thanks to Rig Expert and Gigaparts for sending this to me. You can see right now that it says accepting back orders and reserve yours now ships in two to four weeks. I'm not sure this is even out yet. I think this is brand new. Um, I just got it like a week ago, maybe a week and a half. So I don't remember now. And it is the replacement for this previous one that I did a video about a while back. If we go here, yeah. The Shackmaster 500 compact power supply, 36 amp power 500s out of stock, no longer available. Click here for an alternative. And now we're looking at this power 600 power supply and this thing has a lot more options for power poles and usb on it so i want to take a look at the overhead cam right now that's the front of it right there you can see it's got the touch screen the way the old one did yep swipe to switch off okay now it's 1907 <laughs> that's the time on it you can set the time that's not actually the correct time so swipe to switch on there we go Shack Master Power 600. You can see right there, there's two USB-A ports and two USB-C ports. These are both vertical. Of course, two power pole ports right there on the front. That's really convenient. You can plug in six devices right there. Two radios or a radio and a tuner, maybe something like that. Your phone, your tablet, your camera, <laughs> if you're a YouTuber and wanting to make uh, some videos, you can plug in all kinds of peripherals like that. And then on the back of the power supply, traditional posts right there of course positive and negative there's a hard switch right there to turn it on off and on too you can do it via the soft touch which we did a moment ago or you can do it via hard switch right there and there's also two more power so uh power pole ports on the back and another USB C even so that's three ports right there plus the six on the front you can plug in nine different things all at one time with this thing of course you got to watch the watts and the uh, amps out that it's doing so 600 watts is what it's advertised at. And right here it says uh, reliable power delivering a steady 40 amps of current. Ensures your equipment performs optimally. USB recharging ports right there. 600 I think refers to the wattage, uh, total wattage, because the last one was 500. And this one is 6. Uh, yeah, so rated power is 600 watts right there. Rated current is 40 amps. Output voltage is 12 to 15 volts. Software adjustable. Input uh, 80 volts to tw 264 volts. Wow. Holy cow. Okay. So it'll run on a 220 circuit, I guess. That's odd. I don't know how it... It doesn't come with a 220 plug. It's a standard 110 plug or 120 plug, whatever you want to call it. So more information about that right there. I'll leave a link to this Gigaparts website. It does come with this neat little stand as well that you can see right here where you can... If you don't want to set it down flat on your desk like that, you can put this stand on the side of it like that and then it sits upright and you can rock it back and forth like that but it's definitely a you put it right here on the on the front so where your front is facing up like that and then you can look at it and the the screen rotates with you 90 degree rotation on the screen so you can read the screen so if you're looking at it like this if it's if the desk is here and it's sitting down like that you can still read the screen and plug things into it it's sideways at that point but then it's kind of like that in front of you. So let's, uh, I'm going to fire up this uh, IC705 that I have sitting right here and see, in fact, I'm going to plug the IC705 into this power supply and see what kind of uh, RFI there is, if any. I suspect it's pretty quiet, but let's, uh, let's find out. All right, I've got the, power, the um, IC705 in the Arlo Armalock cage. This is my Armalock cage and battery that I got. I picked up at Huntsville in uh, August of uh, 24. And right now I don't have this battery plugged in because I've got it plugged in straight from the radio to this power supply right here. And you can see it's it's drawing 0 0.3 amps with the IC705 powered off because it's charging the internal battery on the 705. So we're going to turn that on and we should get it come up and it says 100% power right there. Okay, so we got 100% power right there. I do not have an antenna plugged into it right now. But I'm looking at the scope, 
And I'm basically just kind of looking at to see if it's if, if it's causing any noises and birdies sitting right here next to the radio like it is. And you can clearly see on 10 meters, it looks just fine. So that's obviously that's 10 meter FT8 is what I'm on right there. If we go to 21, that is 15 meters. Go up to 20 meters. We're still not seeing any birdies on the scope at all, with even with the antenna sitting right, the antenna unconnected antenna port, which is right here actually. Unconnected antenna port right here. I've got a reroute. The antenna port comes off the side of the radio here, and it reroutes to the back of the arm lock cage right there. So it's got a port on it right there. And even with this power supply sitting right next to it powered up, and you can see it's drawing 0 0.4 amps now, 13.8 volts, it is still, I mean, we're not seeing anything here at all. So there's no birdies on it, nothing on it, no spurs on the readout. No, nothing at all. So if we connected an antenna to it, okay, right there. Plugged in this antenna right here, kind of out of the camera right there. Okay, I've got this antenna plugged in right here, just kind of running out of the shack. It's just kind of pulled out for a receive type antenna, not really tuned for any band right now. So you can see the scope on 10 meters there. We'll go back up to 20 meters. And that's the scope. That's a very clean scope. No birdies, no... uh. In fact, down there, it's even quieter, isn't it? So very clean scope, no birdies, no like, there's a little something right there. Of course, it's going to pick up signals, but there's not any RFI interference. You would see like uh, squiggly lines or some kind of like weird something in the scope there. So as we change frequencies, you know, obviously it's going to change the scope a bit right there. There's the top of the 20 meter band. Nothing very strange in there. So this seems to be pretty RFI quiet. This is obviously not a very scientific test. This is just a field test to say, hey, if you were to take your radio out to the field or, you know, have it in the ham shack here. I mean, realistically, you're not going to take 110 volt alternating current power supply into the field. Probably. There's some parks uh, that have pavilions with uh, 110 volt AC. And cool, I guess, if you want to do that. Or if you have like a like a power station, a, a solar generator type power station you're taking with you, you can plug this into it. That's cool also. But most of the time you're going to be sitting at home or in the ham shack or maybe in the RV that has 110 volts and uh, using something like this. So you can see it's not really causing much of an interference right now. And that's a lot of times these, these cheapy power supplies, they will, as soon as you power them on, there's just like all kinds of birdies and noise and dips and squiggly lines in the scope. And we're not seeing any of that here right now on uh, on three different bands, 15 meters right there. So we can see that. And it looks like a really clean scope for that as well. So there you go. That's pretty much a win in my opinion. And it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Looks like a really nice, a very nice looking power supply. And remember, you can save on my Gigaparts page, you can save 5% off on anything made by Rig Expert. Rig Expert is all over my Gigaparts page. I'll put a link to that in the description below. What do you think? Do you think this is a cool upgrade? This is one of the power supplies that I have seen with the most ports on it, especially power pull ports. It doesn't have the... The banana plug ports, it doesn't have like the, uh, the it has the terminals in the back that you can wrap a wire around or get a ring terminal to put around, sure. But, you know, your older power supplies had that and nothing else. This one has three, no, so it's got two in the front and two in the back. So four power pole ports on it, three USB-C ports, two USB-A ports, plus the uh, positive and negative terminals in the back. Pretty cool power supply. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Be sure to use the code KC5HWB at checkout to save 5%. Thanks guys, 73, and thanks to Gigaparts and to Rig Expert for sending this to me.